Carter Kabalchik, Max Cordell, OverheadAthletics.com. We're going to go through some exercises with weights for baseball players. So we're going to go through four today. There's a lot of variations of multiple different exercises that can be beneficial to baseball players. We picked these because I feel like they're underused or done improperly in the gym. So the first one he's going to do is a bent over Y. So he's bending over at the waist, flat back, shoulders down and back, so he's retracting and depressing the scapula, thumbs up so he's in external rotation of the shoulder. Very important for our red athletes. He's going to go into a Y, and it's not how high he gets, it's how well he maintains that, maintains that scapula position. So he only gets to about here, which is perfectly fine. He's going to the end range, and he's holding it there focusing on that scapular position. You can see it's a very difficult exercise, which is three pounds for a college athlete here, who's done a lot of these in his career. So, that's exercise number one. We go right into exercise number two. I rarely see it done. Awesome exercise with weights for a baseball player. He's gonna go into a slight bend at the waist. He's gonna do an empty can. Carter's also in our Rotator Cup Complete program many years ago with Ed, so you can check him out on there. Doesn't have to get that high if he's pushing out. So he's focusing on turning his thumbs under, you can see, while he's reaching as far forward as he can. Keeping a neutral posture in his cervical spine, extended through his upper back, flat through his lower back. He can alter the degrees of flexion at the hip to target different ranges. And if you notice we're chewing gum, we've got the new flavor of Big League Chew. We could stop chewing for the video. So, all right. So next exercise, we're going to go into the row. Oh, he wants to do the uh, side guard for the wide piece of table. So, he'll do it left handed. Move this out of the way. He's going to take his knees up, bend his knees slightly, making sure he rolls his chest towards the ground. So, he's fighting gravity closer to the end range. Something Carter's doing, because a lot of times at the gym we don't have towel rolls, which is something we really like in this exercise, because he's pinching his elbow into his side. So he's actively adducting, pushing his elbow down to his pocket while he pinches into his side, turning off the deltoid, pivoting it as best as possible. And he goes into his excellent rotation. Back down. He's got a three pounder. You might start with a one pounder or a two pounder. The weight doesn't matter. You don't have to lift heavy weights to get very strong. It's how heavy it is for that muscle. So based on the size of the muscle, based on the direction of pull, the lever arm length. Very light weights can be very, very difficult to build a lot of strength. So, we're gonna go into a bent over single arm row with a kettlebell, you can use a dumbbell. We like to start with the feet together, it incorporates a little bit more stability. It's gonna do a slight bend. Working on the paraspinals. We do it unilaterally a lot of times because you have to work through that multipedi, some of the other deep paraspinal muscles to control your posture. When he's rowing, he's not rowing excessively far back, which touched on in the video about the dips where they're too far back into extension. You can see he's bringing it back slightly behind, but not too far. We're focusing on Keeping his shoulder blade down back, even pushing down with his shoulder while he keeps it back. So he's really engaging that lat to pull down and pull that weight up. This is an exercise where you can really load up. So sometimes people like to use heavy weights, and this is something we can use heavy weights for. You can also progress this in terms of instability. So I can start going to a split stance where he's standing like his feet are on a balance beam or in a complete line. Front leg straight, you can do it with hamstring stretch or without. You can do it in a slight lunge or with that hamstring flexibility. And then he's leaned over, shoulder down back, still doing the row, maintaining a proper posture through his cervical spine, bracing through his core, engaging his core as he rows it. Focus on pulling that bottom portion of the shoulder blade towards the center and down so it's going this direction. 
Very good exercise. We use it all the time. And something that you should incorporate, make sure you're doing it the right way. I see a lot of people doing it where they're lifting up into upper trap and using some other compensations that we don't necessarily want. So we want to work that low trap, mid trap, the lat especially with this exercise, something gets neglected a lot. So those exercises right there, something we use all the time. We tell our throwers that are going back, working in weightlifting programs, these are things that they should use. You don't have to have a lot of weight, but if you want to use more weight, you have to make sure you're doing the exercises with specificity and doing them properly. So make sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. We got baseball videos, we got manual therapy for physical therapists, we got stretches, we got biomechanical videos, not things you're gonna to wanna to miss. So make sure to subscribe, we'll see you in the next video.